and going through all the challenges and speaking at many different events um, for American Heart Association, the Association of Black Cardiologists, um, Harlem Healthy Hearts. I decided to start my own foundation so that way I can help further get the word out there. We talked last time when we met you at the event last year yeah. about how a lot of people, especially women, they don't know all the signs and they don't know quite what to look for and some people think it's an older man's disease. Yes. Uh, but you told us no, that's not true at all. What would you say is the biggest misconception? That the symptoms of a man are the same that are in the women. The women's symptoms are completely different. I experienced lower back pain, so I thought I was having back spasms. Um, there are jawline pains that you can get, you can get vomiting, you can get nausea. There are different um, symptoms for us, tightness of the chest. So when you have those symptoms, especially if you know them, what you want to do is you want to contact your doctor. Your doctor should put you in touch with a cardiologist. There is ways that you look for to help people through things, but believe it or not, Sharon's a strong woman. I believe and, it. And Sharon in, inadvertently helped us, her friends and family, helped us get through it for her because she was already strong. So you come in there thinking you, you got to do something to help boost her up. Not Sharon. You didn't have to do that for Sharon. Sharon's very strong. We're at this event at a great time because not only is it a new year, but it's a new decade. And a lot of people are resolving to be healthier and be exercise more and eat healthier. What advice would you give to somebody who's trying to be more hot healthy in the new year? You go to a, a gym nowadays, it's like being in a sports bar. You know, there's TVs everywhere. You can, you don't miss your news. You don't miss your shows. You, you know, you can plug in Bluetooth headphones. No excuses. What you're saying is there's no excuses. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. It is so important. Go to the doctor. Get your checkups. Get your physical. Men, please, you're not invincible. Get your physicals. Get everything checked. You want to make sure that your blood pressure is well controlled. You want to make sure that you prevent yourself by eating properly from having diabetes. And you want to make sure you exercise. Just walk, you know, and just walk a little bit more instead of uh, when you park your car somewhere, like when you go to the mall. Don't always look for the closest spot. Try to park a little further away so you can walk a little further. Those things add up. Those things do add up. Take the time to smell the roses. A lot of times, especially in New York City, we are running, running, running. Slow down, relax, take, you know, go out go out for lunch breaks, walk around a little bit. I was living a normal life, and then one morning I woke up and there it was. If your body tells you, slow down, slow down. If your body tells you, take a break, take a break. If your body tells you that you need to go see a doctor because you feel a certain pain, don't hesitate. Do that because ultimately, at the end of the day, it could save your life. You had a stroke, you're doing amazing. I mean, you're very lucky, yeah. aren't you? I'm one of the lucky ones because time is of the essence when you have a stroke. You have to really go out and take care of everything right away. I was lucky enough that my wife discovered that I was having a stroke, called, called 911. I was rushed to the hospital and within half an hour I was on the operating table and here I am. I've made it and I look, you know, I do well and I'm okay. So people look at me and say, well, I could be that way too. So it's important to be connected with people who are in the same boat as I am. My slogan is listen to your heart, which is really important because if this stops or if it starts fluttering or doing anything else, you need to listen to it and then know the signs and know what to do.